Hi, this is Noel Tillerson, and in this video, we will use the open area model for division to show how to develop understanding of the inverse operation of multiplication and division and make sense of the partial quotients algorithm. Because division is a missing factor problem, finding the quotient can be thought of as finding one dimension of a rectangle when the area and one dimension are known. Let's start with the problem 1,626 divided by 3. We can think of this as what is the length of a rectangle that has an area of 1,626 and a width of 3. What is the missing side length? Students use knowledge of place value and the inverse operation of multiplication to think of how many are in three groups that total close to 1,600. Three groups of 500 would be 1,500, which is close to 1,600. We can partition our rectangle to show the area of 1,500. We label the partition length 500. We then take three groups of 500 or 1,500 from our area of 1,626, which equals 126. Next, we think how many are in three groups that total 126? There are three groups of 40 and 120. We partition our rectangle to show the area of 120. We label the partition length 40. We then take three groups of 40 or 120 from 126, which equals 6. Now we think how many are in three groups that total six? We use the inverse relationship of multiplication to show that three groups of two equals six. We label the last area of our rectangle six and the last length two. We then add up our side lengths to get the total missing side length of 542. Building on the open area model to make sense of division can help students make sense of the standard symbol used for division. Let's look at the partial quotients algorithm and connect it to the open area model. When finding partial quotients, we can think about what times three will be close to 1600. 500 times three equals 1500. We then take three groups of 500 from 1,626 to get 126. Next, we think what times three will be close to or equal 126. 40 times three equals 120. We take three groups of 40 from 126 to get six. What times three will equal six? Two times three equals six. We take the three groups of two from six for a remainder of zero. Look at the connections between the area model and the partial quotients. Let's look at another problem. 2,748 divided by four. We can think of this as, what is the length of a rectangle that has an area of 2,748 and a width of four? Before we solve, we can make an estimate. We can think of four times what will equal 2,748. We know that four times 600 will equal 2,400 and four times 700 will equal 2,800. We know our answer will be between 600 and 700. Students can use knowledge of place value and think about how many are in four groups that total 2,000. 500 four times would be 2,000. We can partition our rectangle to show the area of 2,000. We label the partition length 500. We then take four groups of 500 or 2,000 from our area of 2,748 which equals 748. We now think how many are in four groups that total 700? There are four groups of 175 in 700. 
We partition our rectangle to show the area of 700. We label the partition length 175. We then take four groups of 175 or 700 from 748, which equals 48. Now we think, how many are in four groups that total 48? We use the inverse relationship of multiplication to know that four groups of 12 equal 48. We label the last area of our rectangle 48 and the last length 12. We then add up our side lengths to get the total missing side length of 687, which is reasonable according to our estimate. Building on the open area model to make sense of division can help students make sense of the standard symbol used for division. Let's look at the partial quotients algorithm and connect it to the open area model. With this strategy, students still have to think about how many groups of four would be in 2,748. They can still use place value to break 2,748 into 2,000 plus 700 plus 40 plus 8. And they can think about what times 4 equals 2,000. There are four groups of 500 in 2,000. We subtract 2,000 from 2,748 and get 748. Then we think what times 4 will equal 700 there are four groups of 175 in 700. We subtract 700 from the 748 and we have 48 left. Now we think what times four equals 48. There are four groups of 12 and 48. We subtract 48 from 48 and have a remainder of zero. Then we add up our partial quotients to get the total of 687. Take a look at the connections between the area model and the partial quotients algorithm. Now it is time for you to try one. Solve 5,725 divided by five using the open area model and thinking of a rectangle with a missing side length. Then try the partial quotients. Don't forget to estimate first. Press pause while you are working and press play when you are ready to continue. I first thought about what times five would be close to 5,725. I know that five times a thousand will be 5,000. According to my estimate, my answer will be more than a thousand. I started with an open area model with the area of 5,725 and one side length labeled five. I used my estimate to start and partition the rectangle and showed the area of 5,000. I labeled the partition side length 1,000. I then took five groups of 1,000 or 5,000 from 5,725 and had 725 left. Next, I thought about what times five would be close to 725. I know that five times 100 would be 500, so I partitioned my rectangle again and showed the area for 500 and labeled the partition side length 100. I then took five groups of 100 or 500 from 725 and had 225 remaining. Finally, I thought, what times five would be close to or exactly 225? I know that 40 times five is 200 and five times five is 25, so 45 times five would be 225. I showed the area of 225 on my rectangle and labeled the partition side length 45. I then added up my side lengths to get a total of 1,145. Since this is more than my estimate, it is reasonable. Next, I used partial quotients algorithm to solve the problem.
look at the connections between the open area model and the partial quotients algorithm. In this video, we use the open area model to develop understanding of the inverse relationship between multiplication and division and help students make sense of division and the partial quotients algorithm.